Hi ladies and boys, welcome back again dari sa tuwang YouTube channel O karoon na another confession na sad ang ato ang basahon Pero before that ay kalimot sa pag-subscribe sa tuwang YouTube channel O palihog na lang pagkugtuplok sa notification bell Aron updated mo kanun na O ladies and boys, ani na ang confession na akong basahon karon. And finally, I have the courage to tell our story. Ako dahi si Mitch, taga somewhere in Jensen. My boyfriend and I were studying at the same school but in different courses. I came from a politician family and maybe it's one of the reason why I gain respect from people differently. The name him, Peter. And like me, Gikan siya sa usakan normal nga pamilya. Dili kay sila dato, pero makaprovide sila sila hang kinahanglan. Ug usapod siya ka hard working man nga who always want to prosper and be the person he always wanted to be. Our universe were not the same, but it was not a hindrance to prove that we love each other. It was not a secret relationship. I am widely open to his family to the point Nga gina-spend na ako ang weekend sa ilahang balay o dili ba kaha sa ilahang farm. We've been in a relationship since we were in third year high school until nag-college me. Maybe it was the reason kung nga nung independent kayo ko niya. Honestly, ma-admit sud ko nga mas bright pa siya sa kuha. He always got that straight one on his report card while me, never mind na lang. Life was hard for him. Third year college mi ato, niya mi decide siya nga muundang sa ugskwela. Kay ihang mama gasakit. Og ilahang bukid kay gikan na salanta og bagyo, og daghan kay silag utang. Plus nagiskwela pa ihang duha ka manghod og high school. Mao nga wala siya laing choice but to sacrifice his studies to help his family. Nagtrabaho siya. He worked as a crew in different fast food chain. Nag-shooter, waiter, even construction worker. And it reached to my family. Questioning me nga, Ingon ana ba nga lalaki akong plano minyuan? Walay nabot sa kinabuhi. Trabahador lang. Walay ikabuhi. Pakaulaw rako. Right after that kasaba session, my parents booked me a flight to Cebu. Gikuha tanan ako nga gadgets and I don't have any other way to communicate ni Peter. After a week, my phone is back. Pag open ako, hundreds of message gikaniya. But the message that hurted me the most was his last message. Ingan siya, Nga thank you for the four years. I thought it was enough to prove you that I love you. I thought you're different. I thought you will fight till the end. I'm sorry if I'm not the person I was planning to be. Pag amping dramich. See you when the right time comes. Sorry. So mo to nga nagpadayon kog eskwela sa Cebu. I graduated nursing and worked for three years and now pursuing medicine for two years na. It was all six years I stayed in Cebu nga walay uli-uli sa Jensen. I started a new life in Cebu trying to forget all the pain I've left in Jensen. Then nakadecide ko nga mauli kay natungnan nga 80th birthday ni Lolo. Og hapit na po ang Pasko. Og first grand reunion sa side ni Mama. And all of them requested niya po leon ko. Jensen changed a lot. I guess sa mga tao sa. I saw how people in our community change. Huwag ang uban kay successful na kayo. Then our grand reunion came. It was the very first time to have the family reunion sa side ni Mama. 
the reason why wala ako kaila pa sa mga tao nga nag-attend. By the way, the venue was held in a resort in Samal. Some cousins were introduced and I concluded that my mom has a huge family or maybe daghan lang kaayo kong namist. Sa six years ba naman na ako nga wala na kaulit. Then ayaw sa kaante nga maingon sa kuwa. Dugay-dugay pud ka nga wala ka uli sa Jensen Mitch no. Didto mi halos ka summer vacation pero wala jud ka. Unya, kumusta naman? Minyono na ba? And the family laughed. I just smiled at my auntie yung miingon. Wala man ganing uyabte. Minyo na ba kaha? Then mi katawa ko. Then asyak sila tanan og nay miingon nga sa kadaghan nimo nga na-encounter sa hospital wala jud. Kauban din ni mga nurse, okdo, or doktor baka ha. Then nangatawa silang tanan. Then may ngon akong sakaante, nga ako ang Rizal, imong igagaw ba? Minyono na, napsa na ka. I am not close with her daughters but I knew some of her anaks and one of them is Rizal. Huwag mito bag ko, nga may man to siya ante kay gagraduate naman sab siguro to. Ako ani, Taas pagkamangunon sa man. Then may katawa ko. Thinking the process a deserve mahimong certified doctor. Then may ako ante. Nga architect biya sa Rizal. Moyang uyab. Kay engineer. I was amazed knowing how lucky my cousin is. Indeed, an architect is really much for an engineer. Sa so, mga ko ako kay magilis ko ang outfit kay nagplano na ko nga maligo. Kaya well, nagkuha na ko sa kong gamit sa sakyanan na imitapad og park sa kilid. Raptor na black. I was about to close the door of our car when I saw a man coming out from the other car. Maybe it was the first time my blood stopped from circulating. My heart stops from beating. Wala, jud ko kaliho. Engineer, nakabot ra jud. I saw one of my male cousin held an arm for a welcome hug. Wait, engineer? My gray matter doesn't even know how to process the scenes. Dali-dali na ako nga gisira ang portahan o misulo dahil sa CR. Nakuratan pa jud ko kay naalay mi kalitog approach na ako. Ate Mitch, she said it with amusement. Razel? Huwag mi ingon siya ate. Then gigakos ko niya kaayo. Huwag ko siyang ipangta na. Kumusta naman Rizal? Architect naman daw ka. Tapos you're in a relationship with an engineer. Mintubag siya. Ngayon yes, sa Timich. Actually, gi-invite na ako siya karon. I know I have already the idea but please. Please unta mali ko. Unta dili. Then she checked her phone and smiled umingon. Nga sige te, see you around. Naana daw siya. Ipailaila te ka later. I just nodded and smiled. Then nakita na ko kong mama nga nakikistorya sa mga mga relatives kauban ang mama sab na Rizal. Then umingon, nga believed jud ko ng Peter. Gikan jud na sila sa pagkapubre. Maoy naning kamot sa pamilya. Nagpa-eskwela siya mga manghod. Nag-atiman si Hang Ginikanan. Adi sir nagpadayo ng eskwela pagka-engineer. Nag-schooling pa na siya ron pagka-architect. Diba? Grabe kaswerte na jud kayo ni Rizal siya ha. And I admit, nahilaw ko mama. That was a slap. Sagpa kayo para sa muang tanan. Taw-taod, midool si Rizal sa muang table. Umingon, kasens, I wanted you to meet Peter. Sama na siya ang head engineer sa new project building among trabaho o next year. Love, presenting. Ako mga guapa o guapo nga mga igagaw, pero mas guapa jud ko. And everyone teased them. Peter held his hand to each of Cassens so pagkita niya sa kuwa, he smiled. Like the usual smile he always gave me way back. I saw how he touched and grabbed the waist of my cousin. Pag-iahang gihalukan. 
Nag-ingon na lang ta na mo para madala sab na mo among uyab. Ingon ni Kuya Jason. Lois si Mitch Kuya Jace kay walay madala. Then all of their eyes was on me. Hala dok, gibikil ka dok. Then nangatawa sila. Pero I just laughed with them, but the hell my hypothalamus is slowly losing its grip. I made an excuse. Nag-drive ko somewhere. Unahan lang sa may resort para mo kalma. While looking at a peaceful and breathtaking sunset, nakahila ko. Unsa kataas jud ang pagmahay nga nung permisya na asa iwit. Near the seashore ay shouted. Kabulok ni mo, Mechoy. Niya ka ron, magmahay-mahay ka nga ikaw may namiya. Di ba choice ni mo to? Di ba choice ni mo nga biyaan siya? Nga nung hilak-hilak man ka. Sa kadaghan nga nung ako pamang igagaw. Panimalos ba ni? Sakit ba kayo akong nabuhat para ingon anion ko ni mo? I did my best to burst out. Nag-apas pa ko sa akong ginhawa. I stayed there until 6pm. My eyes was totally tired so my heart is. Instead niya mabalik sa resort, I strolled around ug napadpad ko somewhere nga murag beer house. I turned off my cell phone para walay makakontak sa ko. Yes, I drink alcohol in Cebu but not to the point that I will let myself drunk. I don't know myself that time. Basta lang ang makainom. Basta hindi ay malimtan kadali ang problema. Ang kasakit. Huwag ang tanan-tanan. Then ay mikalit ugingon sa kuwa. Nga sumuon ni Imohang nakatunan for the six years sa Cebu. I heard someone at the back. Then isamot raw tulo akong luha. I smiled at him and in just a second... I hugged the man I used to love for a very long time. He hugged me back o gisakay ko niya siyang sakyanan na o nag-addo me sa mingaw ng lugar. A place where the only thing you can hear is your voice. How are you? Sa iya palang daan niya pangutana, I almost break down. How can I answer him? How can I tell him nga gimahayan na kong tanan? Pero I faced him and smiled. Humingon. Na congrats. You made it. You're an engineer already. Kumitabag siya. And you also made it. Kumusta ang med school? Kumitabag ko. Nga okay ra. Okay pa. Humingon siya. Nga ikaw. Okay ra ka? Mitabag ko. Nga Peter. I'm sorry. I'm really, really sorry. Kanang hagulgol na nga hilak. Kanang halos dili na ni mo mailahan. Nga ikaw pa di na. Then mitabag siya. That was in the past, Mitch. Stop saying sorry. We became what we are now because of what happened. Ito ba ko niya? No. We can be what we are now even without leaving you. Then ito ba si Peter? But you already did, di ba? Gibiyaan ko ni mo, Mitch. Kabalo ka na wala ang wala kayo mi ato. I really thought kaobanti ka sa tanan. Gato ti kasi niyo that day na mularga na kag Cebu. Your parents even told me that you're with the son of the governor and you're dating with him. They told me to just forget you kay dili tabagay. I'm just a dust for a precious glass like you. Ito ba go? Peter, please, wala ko'y choice ato. Hola. Mitabag siya. I told you, that was already in the past. Di na ako siyang giingnan. Nga past. Past nga hantod karon akong gimahayan. 
past nga hantod karon ginahant gihapon ko. Past na hantod sa present sakit gihapon. Peter, sorry. Sorry. I almost knelt down while crying. Gigakos ko niya. Kinsay makaw na huna pag undang og hila ka na. Damingon siya. You're forgiven. Mitubag ko. Can you please come back? Kanang disperada na ka nga pabalikon siya. Kanang nanghangyo na ka nga ikaw na lang. Ikaw na lang balik. And I receive the most painful response. Humingon siya. I thought we were already okay. I'm sorry, Mitch. She was the one who was there when I needed you the most. She's my batchmate at ang pagbalik na kong skwela. I don't even know you were related. Not until she talks about this reunion. Don't worry. She doesn't know anything about us. It was a slap on my face. Then mi sumpay siya. I was really broke when you left me. It even took me years to finally get over you. Daghan kong pangutana. Daghan kong what ifs. What if stable among family income? What if I also raised in a rich family? Siguro wala ako na yung magibiyaan. Siguro kita paghihapon hantod ka ron. Another slap on my face. I don't know. There I finally realized how stupid I am. Then may si Peter. But still, if there is reason, and please don't question my love for your cousin. Sa moto, ang aghihatod ko niya balik sa my beer house kay na dito ang mong sakinan. Then may siya. Now you will find someone who will love you more than I loved you before. Please take care of yourself. Remember what I told you six years ago. We already met at the right time. Goodbye, my future doctor. He then kissed my forehead and left. While typing this, I can't stop myself from crying. I already had the wedding invitation of my beloved Peter and my cousin Rizal. December 28 will be their most awaiting day. I am happy for you both. Sorry, karon lang ko nga nangisog na share ang atong story. To all the listeners, please do fight for your love. Because regrets will always be in the end. I love you. Doc. Michelle. Ah. Uh. Agran ladies and boys, atong basahon po, ang response, gikan kang engineer Peter. I never expected that the story has been shared by Mitch really has an impact to the people. I was shocked knowing that her confession went viral and reached over her in Jensen. Well, the Ari na hitabo ang story. Yes, she's already brave enough to finally share her story. Our story. Kabalo ko nga most of you kay nakadungog na sa story of us. We're still in hope that we can be together and find ways to still both of us in touch. And here I am, not defending myself, but to share also what happened and to clear things about why I ended up with her cousin. Ako si Engineer Peter, the man who's very in love with Mitch. Mitch was my crush, puppy love, and first girlfriend. She's beautiful, clever, and elegant. When she already accepted my love for her at her very young age, I must say 
I was the happiest person. Yes, we were in different status of living. Pero ma-admit ko nga wala na ko siya pasag di bisan pag pobreme. Wala na ko siya na treat sa mga fancy nga restaurants but kabalo ko nga we were genuinely happy at that time. Niyo na kong eskwela kay dili na kaya mag-provide sa kong parents. Engineering is quite hard. Dagdag pa ang pagkasakit ni mama. At ni papa, duhan ako kamanghod nga nag pa. My life was very stressful and I have to find ways para makatabang nila. It was a normal day until her parents talked to me during my work. I know nga dili sila suporta sa moang relasyon. But still, I gave respect not just because respetado sila sa mong lugar, but because they are the parents of my girlfriend. Then may ngon ang mama ni Mitch, nga Peter. Dili na may magdugay dari. We just drop by para ingnon ka nga ayaw naglaom sa mong anak. Mona ay gisugat o istorya sa mama ni Mitch sa koa. Dili na maglaom. I was shocked. nag lang mi bago ni Mitch. O mitubag ko, nga ma'am, kabalo ko nga naglisod pa mi karon. Pero giputol ko o gmingon ang mama ni Mitch nga, That's our point though. Naglisod na mo. You can't able to continue your studies tapos nangandoy pa ka sa kong anak. Unsa may ipakao ni Monia? Don't tell me magsaligra ka siya ha o makagraduate na siya. Mo proceed pa siya pag a doctor. And look at you. Dili mo ka level sa kong anak. By the words of her mother, nanlumo ka dali. I realized how different our lives are. Wala lang ko mitubag, neither mitingo. Then misumpay ang mama ni Mitch nga, Unta na nga makasabot ka sa gusto na mo ipasabot to. Gusto lang na mo hatagag maayong kaugmaw ng mga anak. Mitch is now with the son of my good friend. She will having her flight to Cebu Asa. So happy to go nga wala nakatingog. And there, I begged. Niluhod ko at ubangan sa imong ginikanan, Mitch. Niluhod ko. Nagpakaloy ko. Nihila ko. And I can still remember the exact words I said at that moment. Hingon ko. Nga ma'am, sir, please, mubalik kog skwela. Temporary pa ni sa karon. I can't lose your daughter. Labi na karon. Please. Dili ko mahimong pabigat siya ha. If that's what you think, please ma'am sir, just let her stay here. So sa kalugar nga daghang tao, niluhod ko og nagpakalooy sa atopangan sa ginikanan ni Mitch. Wala na ko gibati ka ulaw ato eh, as long as pagbigyan lang ko sa kuang gihangyo. Ginakontakti ka every single minute. Right after nag istorya mi sa parents ni Mitch, wala na sab na ako siya nakunta. May adok sa inyong balay, halos magmaoy ko sa gawas inyong gate, ug saksi inyong mga silingan ana. Saksi ang inyong mga maids, drivers, ug bodyguards si mong papa. But I just receive a slap from your mother. And for the second time around ni luhod ko, ug miingon, nga please, Makig-istorya lang ko sa inyong anak, ma'am. Please, for the last time. Halos dili ako ma-imagine akong self at to Mitch nga gibuhat ko to. But yes, gibuhat to na ako. Sa so one week na ako nga sige balik-balik sa inyo, ha? There, na-realize na ako na nilakaw na ka. You broke your promises. My love was not really enough. Sa moto, nga nagpadayo na lang ko sa kong kinabuhi. Then nakakuha ko scholarship para ipadayo na akong pag-eskwela. Magsulay pagduduha, gigrab dyan na ako o ako na siyang gitake nga usa ka opportunity. Until na-assign ko sa usa ka firm nga sikat sa Davao to have my OJT. O dito na ilhan ako sa Rizal. She's funny, intelligent, 
kind, generous, ug smart. Mostly sa mga mga kauban sa OJT, ginasungsungog mi. Dili man sad ikalimod nga we are getting closer. Siguro tungod kay makita na ko siya si Micho Sahay. And honestly, I was not yet fully moved on even mag 3 years na to. Nga wala na mi nakita and no communication at all. At the middle of our getting to know each other, I found another happiness. Despite of my fear to love again, she was the one who was there and made me realize that first love will not always be your last love. Gipanguyaban ako siya after na mo ang mag-graduate. Gidala ko niya sila ha and I was very amazed as a ka-approachable o ka-welcome na ako silang family. Idalasab na ko siya sa Jensen kay lagi taga-Davao siya. Gipailila sa kong pamilya just like what I did to meet Shueba. Then it was a month of November last year. I saw an invitation sa cabinet na Rizal. Nag-live in a DIME since 2018 dari sa Jensen. It was an invitation for a family reunion. Damingon siya. Nga love, uban ba yata na Sa samal di ay ang venue, Ana. Ipailaila tika sa buong angka na mo. I just smiled at her. Nakita na ako ang sponsor so isa dito ang mga parents ni Mitch. O explain na Rizal nga they are kind of second or third degree na nga family. Huwag katong moment nga gi-introduce ko na Rizal sa iyahang mga igagaw. Huwag sa tubangan ni Mitch. It was not my intention to hurt her nga gikisan ako sa Rizal in front of her. She changed a lot. She really grew as a woman she always wanted to. Daghan ko pangutay na siya hang nga kabalo ko nga bisan pag iyahang matubag. Useless na gihapon. Seems like she's happy with her life without me. I saw her parents. Naging shake hands pa ko siyang papa. Katong gi-introduce ko sa papa ni Rizal nila. Nice to meet you again, sir. Na-remember na ko tong adlaw nga nagluluhod ko silang atubangan. Degrading me cause I'm not fit to be with their daughter. Then may ingon yan, papa. Nga good to see you again, Peter. Kailan na mo daan, Peter? Pangutana na sa papa ni Rizal. Then may tubag ko. Nga also came from Jensen Biacol. Og dako sila og natabang sa mga pamilya at itong mga panahon nga walang wala mi. Which is true kay lagi political family sila. Og ato nakita na ko si Mitch sa beer house, I ask her to have time with me and talk. Just talk. Gusto lang na ako siya kumustahon o gusto ko nga magka-closure ming duha. Labi na nga igagaw sila sa kong iyab. I did not blame her for what happened. Pero dili dyan na ako malikayan nga ma-question ng tao, di ba? Please, come back. Yes, nasakitan ko nga gatanaw niya nga gahila. Muhila ka siya sa una o mag-away me tapos dili na ko tag doon. I just thought okay na siya. Nabi na kong okay na siya. It's been six years since we cut off our connection. Ang mga what ifs, what if okay ng tanan? What if dato put me? What if dawat ko sa pamilya niya? What if wala ko ni mabiyay? What if kita pa hangtod ka ron? Siguro matinood yun itong mga plano sa kinabuhi kung wala ko ni mabiyay. I will never meet her. But I'm still thankful for what you did, Mitch. Ang pain o rejection that we both caused. Kay kabalo kong dili lang ako ang at fault. I turned it as my inspiration to strive more. I saw your reactions about our wedding. I understand your hate. But please, let Rizal be out of this. I already confessed to her about our past relationship with her cousin. Ug dili may magminyo ron, ug nakigbulag pa siya na ako. Masuko na ang masuko, but I really love my wife. I had the best wedding with the person I want to be with for the rest of my life. I know you are strong, Michelle. 
That's the thing I admire you the most, Bia. Our destiny was unfair, for we were not meant for each other. Thank you for the wedding gift. Thank you for the wedding gift. I understand why you were not able to attend kay lagi na ibagyo atong at time maong wala na dayon imong flight. You will never be forgotten, Michelle. And I will leave you this, my statement, when I last saw you. You will find someone who will love you more than I loved you before. Please take care of yourself. Remember what I told you six years ago. We already met at the right time. Goodbye, my future doctor. And now I am happy with my wife. We are building our dream house. That was supposed to be our dream house, Mitch. And our own family. My architect, Rizal, was the one who lay out the house. And syempre, it is my pleasure to be the engineer of it. And don't question my love for her. It's not a tragic ending at all. That heartbreak lead us to the person who really meant for us. Daghang salamat sa pagsabot o pagpaabot. Engineer Peter of Architect Rizal